Hey students, uh, this is gonna be a quick video, or at least I hope it's gonna be a quick video showing you all how to download SPSS. So right now this should be week one and you should see this SPSS uh, download. So you're gonna click on that, okay? Then you're gonna see these two links. One is if you have a Windows PC and then this one is if you have a Mac. Now I have a PC, so we're gonna be showing you the steps on a PC, but it's pretty much the exact same thing on a Mac, just it's gonna look a little bit different, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this, and then once you click on this, you're gonna press download, okay? Now it's gonna start downloading here or wherever it is on whatever web browser you're using. Um, and then when it's done, you're it's gonna open up. Uh, it, it depends on how fast your uh, internet speed is. So let's go ahead and give that some time and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so it downloaded and it's asking us, you know, for permission. So it's going to start booting up, hopefully soon. Okay, so it's gonna it's preparing to install and it's gonna go through this process of installation. Like I said, it might take a few minutes. So we will uh, pause the video while it installs. Actually, it uh, seems like it's uh, ready to go. So we're good to go. We're gonna press next. Uh, it's like the uh, license agreement. If you want to, you can read all that. You're gonna do that. Good luck and have fun. We're going to press next. Then we're going to press next. I actually think and we're, and we're going to press install. Now, actually, this is the thing that's going to take a few minutes. So it says it's going to take several minutes. So, uh, yeah, depending on how fast your computer it is, it might be quick. It might be slow. Uh, like I said, I'm going to record the video or I'm going to pause the record of the video until it is done and then we'll get back to it. Okay, so after it installs, it's gonna provide you with this box and it's gonna have the start IBM SPSS statistics now uh, box already checked. So just go ahead and click finish. And then it's gonna start with the program for the first time. And um, SPSS is pretty intensive program. So it might slow your computer down, especially on initial startup. So just be mindful of that. Okay, cool. So um, I haven't entered the authorization license yet. So what we're going to do, and if this is your first time, you haven't either, you're gonna go ahead and click launch license wizard. Click that. And then we're gonna uh, click on authorize user license. And then we're going to click next. And then we are going to um, go to the SPSS download and we're gonna copy the access code. It is the same access code, whether or not you're using a Windows PC or a Mac, we're going to paste that. And then we're gonna click add. Then we are going to click next. Now it says authorization succeeded. That means we're good to go. We're gonna press next again. Then we're gonna click finish. Now it's telling me the new license takes effect the next time you restart IBM SPSS statistics. Do you want to restart the application now? We are going to press restart. And then we should have access to the program. Okay, cool. Um, I already downloaded some of the data sets, but if you were, uh, you know, wondering, I think the next page, you should have access to the data sets. So click, actually, that's a video showing how to download the data sets. 
So, okay, here we go. We click on the first one. Let's go ahead and click on this. And then when it downloads, it'll naturally open and populate SPSS. So if we click on that, it's going to bring up our data set. Eventually. All right, there we go. So now we have the data that we were looking for. Um, if you all have any questions, go ahead and shoot me an email or sign up for my office hours and I can help you all out. Um, yeah, good luck.